Hello and welcome to the kitchen with the world's ugliest wallpaper. Definitely top 10. I've wanted to make this video for so long. I'm always into trying interesting tastes and foods and things like that. Anyway, this is Mr. L, not, hey. not his real name. Not my real name. This always sounds so dodgy whenever I describe it to anybody. I'm like, we're gonna do the Miracle Berry. Sort of sounds like I'm saying we're, we're doing some kind of strange drugs. If you don't know what Miracle Berries are, they are a berry, um, obviously. It comes from West Africa. They're kind of a little bit magical. These are obviously not fresh berries. You can buy them online, sort of powdered and pressed into a tablet form. They have a chemical, a a thing, something in them. A miracle. Uh, but rather uncreatively called Miraculin, which binds to the taste buds. And what it does is it turns everything sweet. It makes everything taste sweet until the effect wears off. There we go. Miracle berries turns sour to sweet as. Oh god, that's so kiwi. What you do is you take a tablet, dissolve it on your tongue. Mm. And wait a minute, and then for the next 15 minutes to two hours. For the next 15 minutes to two hours, you can eat garbage and it tastes amazing. We, we did this no, before. No, no, literally, you can just go fossa king through your garbage, eating trash, We're not and you'll friends. be like, this is delicious. We did this years and years ago, like when we I did, first I met you. Yeah, I don't I really remember what we ate though. I've got a splint. Mm. 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 You require assistance. No. Mm. Here we go. I don't really know, like, once the effect wears off, if you can just have another one. I, mean, I don't see why not. Yeah, why not? They're completely safe, and no adverse effects have ever been recorded. Have you ever tried these before? Like, or is this something completely new and weird to you? We've got here some nice things to try. The things that are the most recommended to try with your Miracle Berries. People have, like, little tasting parties. I, I taste see only parties. one item on this tray that I would eat. What would that be? The chocolate? No, the beer. Oh, the oh, beer. Oh, the chocolate. Yes, there's chocolate. Oh, okay, two things. It should work with anything that's like bitter or sour. So I've got beer, which I personally hate. I've got pickles, hot sauce, gross. some kataya fire, got a lemon. Weird and gross. Uh, got a bottle of vinegar. Disgusting. I didn't get the 95% cocoa chocolate because that just seemed excessive. Just cocoa powder. So I've it? got, exactly, mm -hmm. so I've got 85% cocoa chocolate. I've got these bonbons which mm. are probably the sourest bonbons on the face of the oh. earth. Salt and vinegar, chips or crisps, mustard. We'll have some coffee but because that's a hot liquid and it might wash their thing away like we'll have that last. I thought what we should do before starting, kind of like how a magician might be like, here, yeah, touch the glass to make sure it's real, or touch this thing to make sure it's a real, whatever the thing is. I thought we should probably taste some of these things. Oh, really? Yeah, just to prove how unpleasant they really are. To to further... To, I did not sign up for this. To further emphasize the miraculous effect of the Miracle Berry. Aside from the beer and the chocolate, everything here is just disgusting. Okay. Right and here is things you wouldn't... Well, I mean, pickles. I would well, eat pickles I mean, you know, And I love mustard. Some of this stuff is... Uh, I tend you know, to love condiments. vinegar. I mean, I don't drink vinegar, but I do. I like a bit of malt vinegar on my chips. That's not a problem. Have some dark chocolate. Mm. Ugh. That's just cocoa. Clearly sweet. I don't understand why people like that. I mean, Ugh. Try the beer. Fuck yeah. But I chose this beer because it, it just says what it is really. It's actually a good beer. Yeah? Oh yeah, yeah. it's a locally made beer. Ugh. Gross. Delicious. Ugh. Gross. Delicious. Oh, I hate beer. I feel really bad because when I was in Glasgow someone bought me a pint and I couldn't drink it. I'm like, I'm sorry. I just can't. Uh, I'll take a nibble off that. I don't like these. Oh, I love oh. that. I've never actually tried Kotaya Fire. It's basically like New Zealand Tabasco. You just draw a little bit on your finger. I mean, how bad could it be? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, they Whoa. Oh, they're not, they're not messing around with they're that. They're not fucking around. Made with Pride New Zealand Ooh. since 1989. Holy crap. Hell, I'll be impressed if the berries can do anything about that. Just a dribble. I say stop as soon as you start. Stop. Oh. This is brutal assault on the taste buds, isn't it? I don't like you anymore. <laughs> I love you. One more. Spit it out if you can't handle it. Oh, oh my fuck. Oh my god. 
Christmas past possible. Mm. It doesn't have to be the sourest bonbon, ain't it, Chris? There's nothing bomb about <laughs> It's my cross label joke. I believe that's called a macaroni as well. Now that you know that all these things are genuinely very unpleasant. My stomach genuinely feels quite upset. Oh no. Let's make it worse. Here's your last one. You need to kind of like roll it around your mouth. Yeah, you just have to let it dissolve on your tongue and completely coat your tongue. And it doesn't apparently have much of a taste apart from maybe a little bit cranberry ish. Kind of tastes like not food. That is a long hot about the bar. I didn't have time to taste. <laughs> Mine's nearly dissolved, yours is dissolved, so watch me try first. What's the thing here that you find the least appetizing? I was thinking of trying the bed. Mm, okay, well mm. smash it. That makes it taste much worse. Really? Yeah, because... Well, you I mean, actually like beer though. That's right, because beer is meant to taste bitter and that just, it's weird. And what it tastes like someone's just put a whole bunch of spoonfuls of sugar in the beer. <laughs> No, I just don't like the taste of beer, but it, the bitterness is completely gone. Yeah, the bitterness is gone. The yeah. bitterness is gone. But Weird, it's man. like I said, it's like someone's just put a bunch of sugar in it. It just tastes like sort of yuck water. Why don't we no. go for the lemon? Okay, yeah. The classic. For Vu. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's delicious. It just tastes like an orange. Yeah, that's so like you could you could just cheerfully chow down on a whole lemon. So there's a little tiny portion of my tongue that's still experiencing everything. Ah. Didn't get a good coating. No, 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 I have a scar on my tongue. Ah. I think it's missed it, so it's just, I'll get this little <laughs> sliver of... Is that because you were eating peas with honey off a knife? Is that how you acquired that scar? No, lemonade, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's great. It's great. Yeah. You could eat a whole lemon, like, just like you would eat an orange. Mm. I, mean, I mean, who even eats oranges these days? All right, pickle? I mean, I do find these disgusting, so even just thinking about it. Oh, I love them. It's weird because I hate cucumbers. Passionately. It's a bit. Oh, it's a strange experience. It's like eating a wholly different vegetable. It's like eating a, a baby carrot or something, a green bean. I can't, my, my brain can't deal with the fact of what I'm looking at <laughs> while I'm eating the thing. Yeah. I, can't, I don't think I'll finish it. Okay, don't waste pickles. A baby carrot or a green bean or some kind of bland oh, sort of vegetable. Isn't yeah, it? I would say green bean. Oh, we should try chocolate. It tastes like um. It's a brand of dark chocolate here called Energy Chocolate, which mm. is dark chocolate, but it's sweet. Yeah, oh, it's a lot nicer. Mm. It doesn't taste like milk chocolate, Belgian chocolate, or one of those nice, rich chocolates. It's kind of the moral of the story that just everything tastes better if you load it up with sugar. The vinegar. Yeah, all right. Most modest amount. Yeah, well, we also don't want to curl like Stop! A... I mean, it's still pretty vinegary. I still regret it. Mm. It's still a bit awful. Stinging the top of my mouth a wee bit, but not the tongue. It's like off juice. It's like rotten juice that someone has tried to disguise the taste. Yeah, of. it's interesting. It's not nice, but it's, it's interesting. Nice. I'm gonna stop and vinegar chips. Oh. New Zealand's second most popular flavour of chip. I mean, I don't hate them as much as I usually do. My tongue feels like it's being absolutely assaulted by just all these things that are actually really <clears throat> acidic and unpleasant in a row. I feel like I can but I can't taste it. I feel like I can feel how my breath must smell. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like a salty chip, but not as good. Yeah, like a salty chip that's a bit off. We haven't tried any mustard yet. Hey, look, another thing I hate. When I was a child, that was my favorite sandwich, was plain mustard. It just tastes like nothing to me. Like, all I can taste is the texture of the mustard. It doesn't have any heat to it. I guess that's the thing. It doesn't have any heat to it. To me, it still tastes like mustard, but just kind no, of... No, it's zero heat. To me, oh. well, to me, it's just texture. It's like wussy mustard. Okay, we've got two more things to go. One's the Kaitaia Fire and the Extreme Sour Bonbons. Okay. And then we'll have coffee. If I ever buy coffee, it's like mocha frap with, like, lots of chocolate in it. But this blasted my mouth out before. Oh, so. this shit is intense. I wonder it's famous. Right. Well, I still get the heat and the burning, <laughs> but it's tasty. Fuck it's, me! Well, it just it tastes like very sweet chili. Oh, but yeah, I can. Whoa! <laughs> Damn though, you just feel the burning it through my whole mouth. Yeah, it tastes different, but it, oh. it doesn't taste nice. No, no. I but it's still it. got the same. I need some of this beer. I'm oh, calm my oh, mouth oh down. the beer tastes terrible. <laughs> How could you do this to me, bear? It's, it's just as hot. That was ill thought. Fuck! 
there. Ill considered. I think it's particularly bad on a, on a tongue that's just been like raked with so many different. Yeah, it does actually feel like it has been physically assaulted. It's been here, yeah, it's been sharp, like nails. I might have to take a minute before the bonbons. They actually say not to have more than like one. Uh, they say not to have one after another, really. really. Ah! What? Is it still bad? Mm. Ah! Really? Is the berry worn ah, off? No! I'm gonna try a bit of lemon to make sure it's still working. If the lemon still tastes sweet, I know I'm good. Instead of just being unbelievably sour, it's still wet but also sweet. Okay, we're still good. Oh, it's sick Do you know what's sweet. so weird? This lemon was like soothing on my tongue. It's like soothing, cool juice. These are made in England. Yeah. Thanks, England. I'll have one now. Mm. Oh, nowhere near as bad. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I'm not getting any sourness. Not really. Maybe like a wee bit. Well, bully but for you. Weird because my mouth is having the same physical reaction of watering a lot, right? It tastes like cherry. It tastes like black cherry, which is the flavour of the bonbon. Wow. That's how to get through those. <laughs> it could be an interesting but not altogether enjoyable experience. To me, that bonbon was fine. I'm still suffering. Through. Still suffering. Coffee! I'll make you a coffee. Hate coffee, I find it very bitter. More bitter than me? No. <laughs> is this how I get you drinking coffee? Maybe it is. <laughs> it's actually not bad. Oh no! There's no bitterness, so it actually just tastes pleasant. It tastes like creamy coffee, like the interior of those lovely coffee chocolates. Yeah, there's, there's, there's no work. bitterness. There's no bitterness. Yeah, you're right. It tastes like, yeah, coffee flavoured chocolates taste. Yeah. Like for me, it tastes too mild. I like bitterness. Well, this has been interesting. I don't think I want to do it again in a hurry. They last a really long time because they're dried, so I guess there's no great rush. <laughs> what were you try them with like what's something apart from the things we have tried that you think would be a good idea to have a go with miracle berries that would make for a weird taste sensation thank you very much for joining us on this marvelous miraculous experience i think for me the best thing was the bonbons because they went from being unbearable to actually quite good if you have not already done so please subscribe to my channel it makes you cooler hey. yeah. because we're like so cool and you know you want to spend more time with us. Well, we're pretty cool, but we're nothing on this wallpaper. And as always, take care of yourself, be nice to each other, stay miraculous, and I'll see you next time. Bye. You can take care of